so first things first the box is only made up of two sprues we got five models from this box so it shouldn't take me too long to clip all these off and um, I am going to glue them because these are going to be uh, painted well not exactly like they are in the box but I'm not going to be converting any of these models up so I don't mind gluing the snap fit parts together and um, so what I'm going to do is off camera I'm going to take all these off I'm going to clean everything I'm going to have a look at individual pieces and then for the final part of the video we'll be looking at what the models are like once they're built, how they went together and everything like that and then maybe some plans for the future on what I'm going to do with them. So for now I'm just going to take all these off. Uh, I'm going to have to follow along the little instruction booklet even though it is snap fit just to make sure, well not that you can really mess up, it's just to, in case I start dropping pieces and mixing them up and everything making sure what goes where. Um, so stay tuned just for a split second and you will see these pieces then. Okay, so now that I have them all stripped off, or not stripped off, all clipped off and all the kind of sprue bits uh, cleaned up and everything. Um, usually they're about, I think most of them are like three pieces excluding the base. So you have one, two, three, four here, one, two, three if you include the base. So about four maybe. And pieces and they all come off pretty easily uh, the only one that I might have had a little bit of trouble was I think maybe I know he was somewhere one of the last two guys that I think was this guy see if I can get it in focus you see the spikes on this guy's back there we go you can see the little mark there just right of it maybe not They have the sprue kind of clipped into there, which is I, I they're designed brilliantly and I like it's it's kind of it kind of is like a wonder of like how to do it like that. But why does that sprue piece has to be like directly in against one of these uh, spiky parts? You know, it's just it's just awkward to kind of clean up and you you might end up cutting some of the some of the proper parts off. Um, I did have a slight problem though. If it'll focus on my poor Tom. My poor, poor Tom. I did cut myself with the knife. It's a brand new blade I had in it. So I'm strongly, every time I come out here to put something together or to clean stuff, clean some uh, flash off models or something like that, I've cut my thumb about 10 times. So I'm strongly thinking about investing in one of those sprue cleaner things or sprue removal part. More line remover, I think that's what it is for the GW, from GW. Um, simply because I want to have some some skin left on my tongue so I'm gonna glue these together it really shouldn't take too long so I'm looking forward to seeing what they're like once they're put together and I'll probably compare them to some other scale models I have as well for size and stuff like that so uh, stay tuned and we'll see what okay like. so I finally have all five guys built up it didn't take that much time because they're slot fitted some of the shapes are a little bit awkward kind of to try and fit and they're like they're scaven guys so they're really small as well but other than that not a problem really going together so i'm going to start off here with the leader guy now this is scritch spike law i have the name cards here with me so i'm going to make sure i get all their names right um really dynamic pose um oh i just put my elbow on the light switch um really suits him down to the ground for like a leader model it's super awesome I definitely can't wait to get started on this guy and the pose is really nice as I said before everything is really detailed on this guy Banjo what are you doing back there dog come here Banjo just rolling around the floor behind me Um, as I was saying details are incredible see how close I can go you can really pick up everything on him it's super awesome even down to the rats on the base running around in a little pool of muddy water there so then I move on to the second guy what's this guy's name Hungering Skaven I'm kind of disappointed that they all don't have like names but uh, Hungering Skaven uh, not too pushed on the name but the model is awesome simply because it has them running with a shield and I really like that you don't see enough Skaven guys with shields um, a whole lot, especially in a dynamic pose but uh, I'm a big fan of this guy lots of details on him as well especially on the back and on the side here um, and his base is super cool as well because it has like a grate with uh, more rats underneath it as well running below him so then we move on to 
festering scaven. Now this guy, this is what I like to call. This is what I like to call trying to get in focus first. <laughs> uh, this is what I call the Batman kind of pose, or the kind of closest you get to like a ninja pose. I think everything's kind of. I might get. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit better. A very dynamic. And very hard to get in focus apparently because there's so many bits on this guy. But um, super awesome. He's probably one of the best posed ones out of the whole lot of them. Except for the last guy. Just, just simply because the last guy is my favourite. Because the way he's posed I really love it. But uh, Fester and Skaven. Really like him. Especially the knife in the, t uh, the tail wrap around the knife. Using it as uh, an extra weapon. Really cool and really dynamic. Uh, and then second lastly... Second last, if that's even a word, we have Kirk the Almost Trusted. Um, almost Trusted, that's, that's, that's a weird name. But uh, I kind of like the fact that they give you a two-handed weapon guy. Um, apart from the leader. I'm trying to keep him in frame, here we go. Uh, he has a, like, a really cool, he has like, a little rat up on top of his... Uh, on top of his neck there, looking down on him. Uh, the base is kind of pretty basic, it's just cobblestone, but it's really nice. Again, full of details. But the pose is super awesome. Like It looks kind of like he's charging in with a two-handed spear. So, um, yeah, I really like him. But then you have this guy. I think I have to zoom out a bit. Try and get this guy into focus. This guy has a pose and he looks like he is simply ready for action. He looks like he's about to dive in and not a problem. This is called a lurking scaven. Or lurking scaven. He's really awesome. I like how he's like kind of jumping in head first with the two kind of... Um, I don't want to say fighting blades. Are the fighting blades he has? I think they might be. Um, even his base he has like a little rat kind of scurrying out of a little hole there. You might be able to make it out, but um, definitely check out the website because I'll be having like these really good pictures and good quality pictures so you can pick up the details a lot better than this. But uh, big fan of this guy. Definitely a model that's going to look super awesome once it's converted up and on a different base. In this case, I kind of think this is like a or a base he should be up on something uh, like this guy. You know, kind of looking down or jumping down or something like that. But overall, these guys are awesome. So, what's the name of this squad again? Spike Claw Swarm, that's what they're called. Definitely uh, a box to pick up for any Skaven player or any Skaven collector. I think the models are fantastic. Uh, they're easy to put together, they're easy to get off the sprue. There's not a whole lot of uh, damage you can do to them if you're clipping them off wrong or anything. You get a lot of cool cards with them as well with this box. But uh, once they're glued and they're put together, you don't even have to glue them. I just glued these ones. They look super, super dynamic. And, you know, just for the sake of showing what they're like compared to the other ones, kind of one of the most dynamic pose models from Skaven would probably be this guy from the Old Island of Blood um, starter set. So he is kind of... He kind of has like a matching dynamic pose. And there's not a lot more really like that in the Skaven army. Um, well I suppose the Skaven army is a lot like... Um, like a swarm army. Like a horde army. You know and this is like a basic clan rat. Kind of for, for scale, for size. They're roughly about the same size. Um, they're not really... Well here we go this guy. Yeah look. They're identical. Exact same height. So at least they're uh, keeping the scale as well. They should fit along nicely with any other scale and stuff you have in your army. But definitely pick up this box. I picked up two. I couldn't help it. Because uh, I'm going to be using one box just for... Like I'm going to paint one box up just like as it is. And the other box I'm going to be converting up for my Clan Asian Warband. So if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. I love getting feedback. Two thumbs up from me with this box. I absolutely love it. Um, and I can't wait to get these ones painted and then move on to the other ones to get them converted up for my Ashen Warband. So without that, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Make sure to hit the like button. And thanks for watching again and I will see you guys next time.